Robots are getting faster, smarter and better. In some cases, they prove to be even more intelligent than humans as their capabilities continue to improve. Many keep wondering if there is anything that robots can't do. In this story, we show you how robots are advancing in 2024. The future is here and it's full of robots ready to lend a helping hand. From preparing delicious crepes and serving tacos to guiding stroke survivors through recovery. Robots are proving to be versatile, valuable and, above all, fascinating. These are visuals from the World Robot Conference 2024 in Beijing. Visitors are witnessing the latest breakthroughs in robotics. The ongoing event is showcasing cutting-edge innovations from top companies and research institutes around the globe. The biggest highlight is a robot that cooks up Chinese-style crepes with perfection. Visitors like Liu Chujun are particularly taken by the crepe-making robot. With just a quick scan of a QR code, attendees can order their preferred crepe. There are two options, spicy and non-spicy. I chose the non-spicy one and added two eggs. After placing the order and making the payment, the machine starts preparing it. The whole process only takes about two minutes and then it's ready to eat. But it's not just about the food. Blurring the line between human and machine are humanoid robots capable of mimicking human facial expressions. Conference goers are seen having fun with these robots. Known for its humanoid designs, X-Robots are displaying several new models including a family service robot on a moving wheel platform. Looking just like a young woman, the robot is designed to be your chief servant at home. It can control all the smart home appliances as well as provide companionship to family members. Apart from making improvements to the robot's facial expressions and movements, the company has integrated the robot's hardware and artificial intelligence to allow the robots to react to different circumstances in real time. Shenzhen-based tech company Astrobot is showcasing its robot Astrobot S1. It's seen playing the traditional Chinese musical instrument, Yang Chin, and writing Chinese calligraphy. It can also perform martial arts. In a promotional video by the company, the robot is also seen doing housework and preparing food. The company aims to commercialize the Astrobot S1 robot this year. Amid the hustle of Nairobi, the Kenyan capital, a new attraction has emerged at the Robot Cafe. Look at this. A sleek and efficient robot that glides between tables. Why? To serve freshly prepared tacos to eager customers. The robots, which are simple in design but effective in function, greet and serve diners with trays in hand. While robotic wait staff has been common in parts of Asia for years, Nairobi is breaking new ground in Africa's tech landscape. Inspired by similar setups during his travels in Asia, cafe founder Muhammad Abbas felt it was time to bring this innovative service to Nairobi. We see kind of common uh, in uh, business in uh, South and Central Asia, like Japan and Thailand and China. And uh, so we try in, uh, in to become a like part of the you know, sophisticated uh, technology in the world. The robots, though impressive, still require human intervention for tasks like taking orders via tablet and clearing tables. This proves that in this high-tech environment, there's room for both man and machine. In Scotland's capital, Edinburgh, robots are taking on a life-changing role in the field of medical rehabilitation. At the National Robotarium, 
A new breed of robotic coaches is helping stroke survivors regain their independence through targeted physical therapy. This is the brain computer interface device, so it reads your brain signals. Yeah. Um, so we'll do some training with the robot so it gets used to you and is personalized to you. These robots, known as NOW, are small, friendly looking machines designed to aid in upper limb rehabilitation. Lightweight and easy to maintain, they interact with patients in a way that is both motivating and non intimidating. But how do the robots help? A brain computer interface or BCI is attached to the patient that detects their brain activity as they attempt to move. The BCI translates these signals into commands which are sent to the robot. The robot then mimics the intended movement, lifting its arm in sync with the patient to create a sense of shared exercise. What we've found is the, the once the patient realizes that they are in fact controlling the robot, it gives them a sense of control, but it also gives them a sense that the robot is exercising along with them. As if you were, were exercising with a partner, you see they start to move, you start to move in conjunction with them. With around 80% of acute stroke survivors struggling with arm movement, these robots offer a new way to tackle rehabilitation. A way that's more engaging than traditional methods like pamphlets and videos. It is also hoped that the robotic therapy can come in handy in scenarios where health services cannot accommodate one-to-one -one physiotherapy sessions for every patient.